In the second chapter of Proverbs, it tells us, My child, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to the wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Study is one of the four pillars that gives foundation to Dominican life. It is through study and prayer that a Dominican seeks truth and it is in that search that we discover ourselves, we discover the beauty of God, and become those authentic prophetic preachers that brings the good news to many. Study can be formal, it can be informal. It requires, though, the person who is studying to act on a desire to learn more, to want to see the face of God in the different ways. And study can be the study of ecology, it can be the study of art, it can be finance, it can come in a lot of different forms. But understanding it more deeply helps us understand the complexity of God, but yet in, in God's beauty, how simple it can be. I've been blessed to be able to study the past year at Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. And uh, in addition to studying scripture, I've had the opportunity to look at how st systems interact within society. How does resiliency play out on the individual level, on the community level? And how do these systems interact with each other in a way that brings life? How do they interact in a way that's ethical rather than uh, demoralizing? And bringing scripture into that gives basis on how this is part of what our mission is as Dominicans to bring good news to those who are marginalized or on the fringe of society. Now this year I get to take the study and um, it actually is a continuation of study, but I'm working on the thesis project. And it's about women religious in the United States and their legacy. And that's a, a look at religious life today, the reality of it in the United States, and how what we do gives meaning or purpose to who we are in the broader context. Are we the leaven that the world is needing? Um, do we bring that hope? And in these conversations, I have sought out the wisdom of many women. I have read a lot of books just opening up a world that uh, makes me hungry for more. In looking at the history, I see how the Spirit has played out in so many different ways, which helps give foundation to uh, hope of the future. So it is in that study that I have found great joy and great beauty. And indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver, search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God.